crash. He does everything right. Watch, he's starting to recover, he's starting to recover, gets that ankle, boom, and he switched his hip right here. Okay? What look, did that look different than what I did? A lot different, right? Where did he put himself? What, what position did he just put himself into? Peterson, whoop, right? Coach Tobias showed that yesterday. Guy's a freak, by the way, right? That, dude, that dude's a stud, okay? So look, this is very important. Get, let's get back in there. So Jarrett's back in on this high C, cracks him down, boom. He starts recovering, he gets to the ankle, right? He's starting to recover, boom, right here. If he doesn't put his hips through Jarrett, okay, and keep working himself back, he's able to transition. Even here, he kind of transitioned too early, right? You guys see it? Yes, no? Yes. I need an interactive audience, fellas. Yes, no? Yes. Okay, so when we're doing this, I'm gonna borrow you real quick. So when I'm recovering, okay, this is what I'm saying about running hips through, okay? I'm here, and this is the other important part. I don't wanna try to drive over my whole leg, okay? That's even with Jarrett, go ahead, keep my hip on the mat, okay? Big weight difference. It's really hard to go over my whole leg, right? I'm not using an anchor, but even if I just bend here, watch. So from here, it's pretty easy. Does that make sense? So again, I got my anchor in my anchor. Guys, my head is always coming down to this hip, okay? I probably didn't stress that enough. My head's here. That's gonna allow my hips to stay wide too. I'm here, I'm recovering. Coming up, I'm driving through Jarrett's hips and I'm coming around. I, I, yes. I, I think a big thing that is missing too is the anchor points. Um, I think you guys are missing left and right hand trying to pull in tight. That's the big difference. I think what Joey is doing is he is so in tight, he's holding that guy and he's pulling him to him. So guys, concept and scrambling, okay? This is, this is kind of some big picture stuff we're not gonna hit on today, but I always have to pin either a guy's hips or a guy's shoulders, okay? So when we switch to Jarrett's position, all we're gonna be talking about is pinning my hip to the mat. Make sense? In my position, all we're talking about is pinning Jarrett's shoulders. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay, I have to keep him locked down in one position. So this anchor, okay, and you guys will hear me say this a lot. I'm always pulling my elbows to my hips, okay? That's the power, that's the pressure. It's not this. This is weak. This is strong, okay? I'm pulling down and in. Jared, is there pressure? Sorry, is there pressure? Pulling down and in with my elbow, my, my whole body is pulling him into my hip. Jarrett, move your shoulder. There's not a lot of movement for him. Does that make sense? Okay. When I go to attack this, I'm still pulling down and into my hip, and I start curling my foot toward my crotch. That allows my hips to clear and his shoulders to stay pinned. Again, anchor point, anchor point, anchor point. Start curling, I'm coming up, coming up, coming up, I'm coming up. I'm keeping him pinned. I'm keeping him into my hip. Switch, block, score. Okay, let's do like a couple more. Really concentrate on your hips and then we can get into the next one. All right, one, two.